Cumam royals earn Britain nearly pounds two billion a year. The figure is revealed as the Queen and Prince Philip celebrate their 70th wedding anniversary today. Research by a leading business valuation consultancy has found that the royals contributed £1.766 billion to the economy in 2017. But it put the annual cost of maintaining the monarchy at £292 million, the equivalent to £4.50 per person, or barely 1p per day. Measuring the monarchy's value, as if it were a branded business, researchers at Brand Finance said its tangible assets, including the Crown Estate, the Duchies of Lancaster and Cornwall and the jewels and art that comprise the royal collection, were worth £25.5 billion. But the intangible value, the benefits the monarchy is expected to bring the UK economy over the next few years, comes in at a further £42 billion. Brand Finance's chief executive David Hay said, Exactly 25 years ago, the Windsor Castle fire marked the nadir of the Queen's Annus Horribilis, when scandals drove the monarchy's popularity down. Today, its universal appeal translates to the attraction of brand monarchy, offering commercial benefits to all businesses and institutions associated with it. The report was released as the Queen, 91 and Philip, 96, prepared to celebrate their platinum wedding anniversary at a private dinner for family and friends at Windsor Castle tonight. Buckingham Palace published pictures of the couple to mark the milestone, taken by British celebrity photographer Matt Hayoke in the white drawing room at Windsor. The Queen was in a cream day dress by Angela Kelly, which she wore for her diamond wedding anniversary service of Thanksgiving, and sported a yellow gold, ruby, and diamond scarab brooch designed by Andrew Grima and gifted to the couple in 1966. The Queen, the first British monarch to celebrate a platinum anniversary, and Philip are expected to spend today away from the cameras. But at Westminster Abbey, where they married in 1947, bells will peal for three hours and 20 minutes from 1 p.m. Among net benefits to also celebrate, the Brand Finance Report estimates the monarchy has generated pounds 550 million for tourism this year, the largest single contribution to the economy. Last year more than 2.7 million tourists visited royal attractions. Other benefits include pounds 150 million in trade and pounds 150 million extra to charities and other organizations supported by royal patronage, including Royal Ascot and the Royal Opera House. The monarchy has also produced £193.3 million in extra business for 800 brands with royal warrants. A further £50 million has been generated for the media interest in the arts by films, TV series and plays about the monarchy, including The Crown, Victoria, and Charles III, while worldwide press coverage of the royal family brought publicity equivalent to £125 million in advertising. The monarchy's value has risen each year since Brand Finance's first study in 2012, when it was worth pounds 44 billion. But the company has revised down the value of informal endorsements, such as the Kate effect and other sales linked to what younger royals wear, from pounds 325 million in 2015 to pounds 200 million this year. The report says this is mainly because Kate has decided to dress their children in plain, retro clothes. It adds, the arrival of baby number three is likely to help brands trading in baby clothes and care products. In calculating tangible assets, the company included the annual Crown Estate surplus of £328.8 million. Technically the Crown Estate, which owns real estate in London's West End, and more than half of Britain's foreshore, belongs to the monarch. But its profits have been surrendered to the government since 1760. The pounds 292 million cost of the monarchy includes 42.8 pound million directly from the taxpayer, plus pounds 106 million in security, lost capital and revenue income from the duchies of Lancaster and Cornwall which would go directly to the treasury if the monarchy did not exist. Then there is £22.2 £2 million spent by councils on royal visits and £30 million for the use of state buildings. 
Royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliams said, with an unstable minority conservative government, unpredictability after the Brexit vote and the possibility of a future Jeremy Corbyn government, the monarchy provides stability which is beyond price.